In the last years, the gap of new antimicrobial drugs is particularly important. Since nowadays, we have to focus on uh, multidrug resistant strains, either gram positive, but uh, mainly gram negative roads, which are capable of infections in immunocompromised patients, in uh, ICU patients, hematological patients, and so on, elderly patients, with uh, a really high uh, rate of failure and deaths. Therefore, we have to use the uh, antimicrobial drugs in the better way we can nowadays. And one of the most important aspects are the pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic aspects of the different antimicrobial drugs. Uh, we should remember that antimicrobial drugs uh, can be divided in two major groups. One is the time-dependent drugs, and the other is the concentration-dependent drugs. As a matter of fact, when you are using a time-dependent drug, the importance is to maintain for a long time concentrations higher than the MIC in order to be effective. While on the other side, when you are using concentration-dependent drugs, you have to maximize the exposure of the drug in order to reach very high ratios between the Cmax and MIC value or AUC MIC values. This is an important thing. Uh, and is either uh, how um, and is either more important when you f when we uh, look at the problem of resistance. For all the antimicrobial drugs, there are some thresholds that we need to reach in order to be successful. But these thresholds are okay for success for clinical success, but they have to be increased for. Uh, avoiding resistance, which is the major important problem nowadays. So, uh, looking at the major classes of antimicrobial drugs, uh, such as beta-lactams, which are time-dependent drugs, we need to use them in a wise way, which means prolonged diffusion uh, with a duration of three, four hours for each administration, or even uh, continuous infusion. In this way, we can improve the capability of this kind of drugs to be effective even in the presence of very uh, resistant pathogens such as Acinetobacter or Pseudomonas aeruginosa. On the other side, uh, drugs like aminoglycosides or daptomycin or cholestin need to be administered in a few uh, times a day at high concentrations in order to maintain very high ratios between the concentration and the MIC of the drugs. Uh, for cholestin, which is a very old drug with some toxicity and <clears throat> it has been reused in the last years, uh, we need to use a combination of chemotherapy, uh, otherwise the resistance rates are rapidly increasing. So one of the things we have to remember in this kind of treatment for this kind of infection is to give cholestin in combination with other antimicrobial drugs such as aminoglycosides or rifampin or even carbapenems. Uh, cholestin has to be administered with a loading dose of at least 9 uh, million units uh, in an adult patients and the maintenance dosage is 4.5 million units every 12 hours uh, for a good treatment. In this way, we may contain a little bit the uh, problem of resistance. However, what, what we really need is new antimicrobial drugs capable to be effective even in these uh, multidrug resistance trees, and this is the challenge that we have to face for the next future.